Well, it's definitely a mop. Stay away from my mop! Stay away from my mop! Oh, you look like the health inspector tasted your stew. Or you did. Worse, Marlin Marlin is here. Who? The customer I have nightmares about. He's the only importer of yak fat on the island, so I need to keep him happy, but he makes that impossible. Today he wants me to make him a dish that he ate last week at some kind of event at the governor's mansion. But of course he doesn't remember what it's called or know what's in it or even remember what color it was. He says he thinks it has ingredients in it. I don't have the slightest idea what to make. Oh, look behind you, a three-headed monkey. I do know a great stew recipe for monkey heads, but I can't think about that right now. If I brought you a recipe, could you make it? Of course, I'm a cook. See the hat? Good news, I have a cookbook. I found this at the governor's mansion. Aha! Uh -huh. The mystery dish must be in there. I have no idea which one it'll be, so I'll just have to make them all. I'd better get to work. Thanks, Guybrush. Hmm. This will be excellent. Keep your hands off my mop! Here's a sample of the wood you wanted. Can you make me a map now? Sure, here it is. Thanks, Wally. Better to have one for each eye. If you say so. Wow, that's worse than I imagined. The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. I remember when these torches lit up Stan's previously owned vessels like a carnival. It's a dried up old sea sponge. Warning, the dark forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. I guess I lost my way.
gotcha, you pointy little tricky a fight. like there's a welcoming committee. Wow! The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. Another resource has given its all in support of my personal goals. It's what nature is for. I must have startled them while I was whittling. Some animals are quite skittish. I'll take a shortcut back. Museum of Pirate Lore. Once upon a time, I want a t-shirt right here on the front lawn. Hi there. Welcome to the Malay Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. I also edit the Pirate Times newsletter. Here, take my business card. Uh, thanks? The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Malay Island at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Authenticity is our watchword and our pledge. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. That map looks familiar. That's one quarter of the original map to the treasure of Big Whoop. I got it from the cartographer on Low Street. Apparently, he was somehow involved in the search for Big Whoop. About all Wally managed to do was get kidnapped by LeChuck's henchmen. That's not the way he tells it. I'm just trying to help. Thanks. I've got it under control. How on earth do you have that note? Oh, yeah. That's very interesting. That was found tucked inside of a book at the Fat Island Library. It's the actual note left by the ghost pirate LeChuck when he kidnapped Governor Marley. I know what it is. The lookout handed it to me just before I finished my three trials. Uh, I was crushed, but undaunted. I gathered a crew and I sailed to Monkey Island to save her. Not that she needed it, as it turned out. Wow, man, you're really into this. I've got a role-playing group on Thursday nights. You don't believe me? It's not a question of belief. Never mind, it's not important. What's this melted lump of metal? It used to be a mug. It was melted by some kind of acid. It was found in the Malay jail many years ago. 
after an incident where like 20 pirates escaped. Hey, I did that. I had to keep pouring the grog from mug to mug because it was melting them. I had an armload of mugs and I juggled them all the way from the scum bar to the jail. All so I could get Otis to join my crew. Not my greatest decision in retrospect. That's a pretty wild story. I'm telling you the truth. I'm sure you are, but it just doesn't quite square with the official record. So it's hard to substantiate. Substantiate? You've got an eyewitness. Eyewitnesses are notoriously inaccurate. Human memory is plastic and suggestible. Not yours, apparently. No, of course not. I deal in facts. What can you tell me about this eye patch? That's the pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. I tried it on, though, and nothing happened. What's the story with the wanted poster? That is the earliest known wanted poster for Captain Kate Capsize. You can tell how notorious she was by the huge number of crimes listed there. Very impressive. I got it from a collector on Fat Island. Those are my own crimes, actually. I was pretty much public enemy number one on Fat Island at the time. I stuck Kate's picture on there so she'd get thrown in jail. <laughs> that would never work. Nobody's that clueless in real life. This is absurd. It's like this whole wall is stuff from my personal adventures, but somehow I'm not even mentioned in your stories. That's what's so great about this museum. Everyone makes their own connections with the exhibits, and it's highly personal and different for everyone. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. That's okay. You don't need to say anything. Just listen to what the exhibits tell you. Fine. That is a really big parrot. Wonder how many hands it's eaten. What do you feed it? Thieves, mostly. Good to know. What was this cinder you've got on the wall? Oh, that. Yeah, that was an unsent love letter written by Elaine Marley while she was governor of the island. What? Elaine? The recipient was referred to only as Plunder Bunny. That's me! It was a really touching letter. Unfortunately, I put the candle too close to it. What did it say? Tell me what she said. Oh, you know, love letter stuff. Honestly, I don't remember a word of it, but it was touching. Thanks a lot. Is this a left hook or a right hook? That once belonged to the dread pirate Meat Hook. Supposedly, he was ambidextrous. Also, he used to live right here on Melee. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. No kidding? Wow, are you named after Guybrush Threepwood? Uh, I guess you could say that. Nice. Your museum is quaint. Thanks. It's been a personal passion of mine. I'm nuts about old-timey pirate stuff. Old-timey? Being around it really makes you feel like you're a part of something. Doesn't it? I am part of something. Exactly. All right, so you wear a peg leg, despite having both of your original legs. Just part of the docent's outfit, for the tourists. Kids always want to try it on. That's charming and creepy at the same time. This is a museum for people who think attacking ships and murdering the crew for profit sounds fun. Touché. Tell me about that newsletter of yours. The Pirate Times. We publish pirate news, pirate stories, pirate poetry, all things piratey, really. I'm going to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Oh, that's excellent! Super retro! If you need a place to display it, I know a convenient museum. Are any of these things valuable? The security parrot isn't just here to look piratey. John Laney's eye patch is irreplaceable. It's the highlight of the collection. Amazingly, I got it at a yard sale. They didn't know what they had. I'll have a look around. Please do. If one monocle is good, two is better. Ah, crystal clear. I'll just write that down. It's cracker mix, some assembly required.
Welcome back. Hi. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. This will be for a high-end display case. You a collector? Uh, yeah. Stamps. I see you have a parrot and only a few crackers. Would you like some cracker mix? Thanks. The ones on the plate were getting a bit stale. Take some if you want. Don't mind if I do. doesn't fit. What do you expect me to do, Elaine? Issue a proclamation? Of course not, Carla. We'll need to generate public support. I'm working on that. People around here don't like any kind of restrictions, even if it's for their own good. But we can put a requirement on ships traveling to the north. There's already a customs check, so the infrastructure is all in place. Well, it's a start. Scurvy's a big problem. Let's do all we can. Agreed. I've come a long way. Is there anything else on the agenda? Coffee? 